we're going to talk about something really, really important to me. Bushings. There are many different types, many different choices, many different materials of bushings. We're going to go from, with what I have, softest the hardest. First one on the list, TRD. This is a TRD front lower control arm bushing for my IS. It's hardened rubber. So it's like stock, but slightly harder. So we're gonna put that one right there. Um, next. Siberian bushings. They're polyurethane, but they're slightly a, a little bit closer to stock, but just a little higher. So these are about even, about, we'll, we'll put them about even. Um, here's, by the way, this is for the RAV4 for the rear channeling arm. Uh, next form of poly. This is a, these are front sway bar bushings for the AE86. I'm just gonna lay them out and then uh, we'll go a little bit more in depth. Super Pro. This is for the front lower control arm of my RAV4. Energy suspension. Just about the same. Those are prothane, by the way. This is energy suspension for the steering rack of my 886. So they're about on the same tier. Um, and that's all I have, really. It was like I could show off the other, I guess I could show off the other uh, Super Pro bushing. That's also for the front lower control arm, but it's for the other piece. So from softest to hardest, hard to hardest. So we're going that way. TRD bushings, these are hardened rubber. Um, it just takes a, uh, a, a standard rubber bushing. It makes it a little harder. So it gives you a little bit tighter feel and whatnot. Sli a little bit cheaper in price and it still retains, you know, factors of a factory bushing. However, with the cons of that, it will still get eaten away by gasoline, oil, and all the other stuff that you get on the uh, ground. So in the next option, if you want a feeling of near uh, stock, but just with the benefits of polyurethane, we go to Siberian bushings. And and it's it's just a, a slightly harder. It's not much. It's it's got a durometer of sixty five, which is in the range of a factory bushing. All you have is the benefits of of uh, it being poly. Unfortunately, these are the. This is the only company that sells rear trailing arm polyurethane bushings for the RAV4, so that's why I got them. 
Um, I've had these for a while. These are the uh, the Prothane bushings left over from the kit when I did the uh, suspension redo on the 886 in 2013, along with this from Energy Suspension. Uh, I haven't put them in yet because I haven't really, I've been wanting to enjoy the car and unfortunately that ain't panning out. <laughs> But uh, I'll continue working on the uh, RAV4. Um, next, we go a little bit slightly further up, which I think up the durometer will probably be, I think these would be about 90 maybe, maybe even 80. Um, they're, they're, they're sway bar bushings, what can I say? But the cool ones is these, I love Super Pro. I have Super Pro and and uh, a lot on my uh, IS, and I have TRDs also on my IS. And these are, Let's see if I can, there we go. Okay, there we go. There we go. Uh, one thing that's the one thing that's really cool about this is that there's like a knurl in here. So let me push it out a little so I can take these covers off. Okay. Let's see if we can, you can see that. Uh, hopefully you can see that there's a possibility of me pushing this a little. So it's still got some movement in it, some factory movement. Not much, but that's perfect. And of course, these also super pro. They're they got the webbing inside, so you can keep uh, um, bushing grease. Um, in my opinion, when it comes to any car, if you can get super pro bushings, go for it. If you can't afford them, for Toyota wise, and if they still make them, TRD. Um, I didn't know, I didn't really think about that when I did the suspension upgrade on the A86. Later on, I'll probably, you know, might change them out, maybe not, I don't know. Oh yeah, we have one more thing to little mention. Cusco sells a hardened rubber exhaust hanger. That's about, I'm assuming that's about the same consistency as their engine mounts, because that, that sucker's really tough. So, the, why would you want an exhaust hanger? Well, if you're doing some exhaust work, like I had done on the RAV, the exhaust is a lot lighter, so it can move a little bit more, so that stops the movement. So, I kind of went a little overboard. I bought a couple of them. <laughs> Okay, I bought five. I also went a little bit other crazy. This is a uh, axle uh, brace designed for the 60 Series Harrier that I'm going to try to put on the Rav because if it ends up working, like now we have another another option to utilize more Cusco parts because I successfully put the uh, front and rear sway bars on. So, soon I'm gonna have to do a video explaining why I'm modding the RAV4, because I'm kind of staying, I'm, I'm skewing the path instead of doing my IS and my A86. But I really just wanted to see what I could do with the RAV, really. That's the only real reason why. But we'll go further in that later on in another video. But this is everything I got for uh, bushings. And uh, hopefully when I have time, maybe I'll do an install video on one of these sets of bushings. Um, hope you guys are all doing well. This is A for Hachi signing off.